It's Bonnie. Happy Tuesday. I am back. Oh my gosh, you guys. Can you believe that in three days, Saturday is October 1st? I don't know. This month is, I said it before, but I'm saying it again. This month has flown by. The weather here is still really goofy. I'm incredibly worried about Ian down in Florida. My husband's cousin, who's over 70, uh, lives in St. Petersburg. She just had to evacuate. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is horrible what's happening down there. So I have to go to my happy place here, which is all of my wonderful fragrances. <laughs> I got Kringle Candle Christmas coming later. I got Lush Christmas coming, I think. But right now, we're going to do a good old-fashioned ranking on the shower gel for fall. I've got 15 fall shower gels. Can you believe it? 15. Bath and Body Works is doing these enormous collections. Can't wait to see what's coming for Christmas. And I have ranked these number 15 to number one. I got to let you know, though, in advance, I did not include any of the Autumn Drive collection in my lineup. I don't know. That collection just really petered out for me. It just, it's like totally off my radar now. Um, it just wasn't too exciting. I don't know why. It just didn't do anything for me. So um, this is my favorite 15 minus that collection. I actually gifted off, I think, the Autumn Drive to someone. None of that was like thrilling me. Um, so we're going to start. Number 15, Wicked Vanilla Woods. I think I put Wicked Vanilla Woods at number 15 because I'm just not on board yet with this really heavy patchouli scent. I like using this a little bit later. It's kind of pungent at night, though. I tend to take my showers at night because my hair is really long and I don't like to dry my, um, my hair in the morning. And my shower is like my happy place too. And I usually use like two or three different shower gels. And I don't find Wicked Vanilla Woods all that relaxing in the shower, I decided. Um, number 14. I love the packaging on Twilight Woods, but I don't know. It's just not doing anything for me in the shower gel this year. I actually have used it a couple times in the mist. Um, but for some reason, the shower gel, other than looking pretty, uh, it's kind of a no. Number 13. Number 13, Sweater Weather. Um, this is Sun Crisp Apple, Autumn Leaves, and Orchard Woods. I prefer um, Sweater Weather over um, anything in that Autumn Drive collection. I think Sweater Weather is actually, it's a solid shower gel. It's a little bit of apple. It's a little bit woodsy. Um, but it's pretty good. I really wish we had a pumpkin apple shower gel. Seriously, uh, that would have made my, my season. Number 12 is the super sugary, check it out, this is actually uh, halfway gone, the super sugary uh, blueberry sugar pancakes. I love this one in the shower. Like when you're really in the mood for just a sugar shower, <laughs> you want to pick up your blueberry sugar pancakes. It's super sweet. Number 11 is going to surprise you guys. It's my beloved strawberry pound cake. I can honestly say I'm not sick of strawberry pound cake, but I'm just not as over the top as Elaine would say in Seinfeld. I'm not Gaga anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I'm starting to get off strawberry pound cake a little bit, which is kind of funny. Um, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Number nine. Number nine. I think I might have got those out of order. Uh, pumpkin pecan waffles. When you're in the mood to smell like syrup and butter in the shower, bring out your pumpkin pecan waffles. This is a good one in the shower. I gotta say, everyone should experience the pumpkin pecan waffles. You might not like it, um, but it's an experience. Number eight. Cozy Season. I actually like Cozy Season. Soft Lavender, Golden Honey, Creamy Oak. Didn't think I was going to like it at all. I like it, though. Um, It's really light. It's got a little honey, a little lavender. Kind of makes you a little bit sleepy. It's not too bad, though. I think Cozy Season um, is pretty solid. Number seven, White Pumpkin and Chai. Gotta love White Pumpkin and Chai. Um, This is a good one. This is a good one. It is, there's no scent notes on the back of the, um, 
on the back of the facet. It's good though. It's a little creamy pumpkin going on. Oddly enough, this year, sweet cinnamon pumpkin has moved ahead of white pumpkin and chai for me. I don't know why. It's funny. Some years I'm really hot on sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Other years I'm not. I think last year was kind of a not for me. But for some reason this year, sweet cinnamon pumpkin has been like my go-to scent like for everything. And I don't know why. It's really good this year. Um, top five. Enchanted Candy Potion. I love this scent. There's just something really magical about this. I gotta load up on these uh, for semi-annual sale or if we have a really big body care sale. I want some extras of Enchanted Candy Potion because this for some reason um, is just wonderful. It's spellbinding sugar, bewitched berries, and the whipped pixie dust. It just smells good. I like, I'm into sugar right now. Um, number four for me, believe it or not, is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. I don't like it in the mist or the cream as much. The cream was terrible. Remember the cream smelled like dirty socks? <laughs> the mist is okay. I haven't really been wearing it much, but I've been using it in the shower. I don't know. Like that marshmallow creamy note is just doing it for me. Um, this is the pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallows, creamy sandalwood, and praline musk. I don't know. It's the marshmallow and the praline and a little bit of the sandalwood. That one's relaxing to me. Top three. The top three this year are, like, huge for me. Like, I've been using those more than anything. I actually have backups of these in the shower right now. Um, sweet whiskey. You know how much I love my sweet whiskey. Um, I cannot wait to get the candle. This one is wonderful. I love sweet whiskey this year. Absolutely love it. That's number three. Number two is my wonderful Bonfire Bash. I really think that Bonfire Bash is starting to replace... Strawberry pound cake is my evening scent. I've been showering with Bonfire Bash, and then I've been wearing Bonfire Bash at night. Um, no sun notes. It's good. <laughs> and then, believe it or not, number one. It's funny because I don't like the candle in this one at all. Midnight Amber Glow I've been using a lot. So usually what I do in the shower is I use the Midnight Amber Glow, then I use the Bonfire Bash, and then I follow it up with, like, um, Pumpkin Pecan Waffle or Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. I use three different scents sometimes in the shower. I don't know. I'm like, you got a lot of shower gel. Might as well. Um, this one is Smooth Amber, Caramel Latte, and Vanilla Bourbon. There's a really wonderful note in here. I think it's the caramel, but, oh, my gosh. This is just so relaxing to me. Um, it's actually like a scent that I crave during the day now. Um, so I've been like putting a little bit of the cream on uh, during the day. There's just something wonderful for me um, about this Midnight Amber Glow. And I know it's kind of a hit or miss for a lot of people, but I don't know. It's been a yay for me this season. I am really enjoying that like a lot. So the one shower gel that I think I really miss is the, um, the Sugar Cherry Crisp. We really are lacking this fall in a really nice, fruity, um, bakery type of shower gel. Really, if we had banana walnut muffin in the body care this year, I think that would have been really good. Can you imagine a banana walnut muffin shower gel? I'm like, oh my gosh, Bath and Body Works next year. Next year, we got to do that because I think that would be absolutely fabulous. So overall, um, a pretty solid year for shower gel. I will run through all these. I have one of those racks in my shower that you hang over the shower. I got it at Home Goods, And you can put like, um, like eight shower gels in there. So what I do is I have one of the bins um, sitting on a shelf in my shower. And then as I use up shower gel, I just keep replacing them. Because we use a lot of shower gel, all of us, everyone in the family just uses a lot. My husband's got his own bathroom because he just had his stem cells, so I'm not going over and using his bathroom at the moment um, because of his stem cell transplant. Um, he actually uses the Lush Dirty Spring Wash, but my mother, my daughter, and I all cycle through all of these. We love them. This is like my, you know, my big shower gel that I, I love so much. So anyway, um, pretty good year, pretty good year. So let me know your number one favorite shower gel from Bath & Body Works this year. I will be back later. I got lots of stuff for you guys. I hope everyone's having a good day. And um, nothing going on at Bath & Body Works. Uh, I 
sales, mm -mm, it's really nothing going on. Uh, Wallflowers fragrance refill, nothing, 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 nothing. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.